Minazuki was not exaggerating when she told me how the children had taken into the new Risai Yuku. It is another sign that life is returning to the way it was prior to the occupation. Even if the Empire are driven from this land, we must remain vigilant to problems within and without our borders. Which reminds me, the Shazen Kai has received another proposal. A number of Dormans who were once conscripted into the Galian forces have banded together to patrol the Enclave to keep the area free from trouble. They wish to establish their own barracks by the Kiankan. My comrades and I agreed that this is indeed a worthwhile endeavor and shall be channeling funds toward its development. Please come to the Shazen Kai if you would like to know more. Risayuku is now complete and Kozakura has already begun preparations for the Enclave Barracks. Biodoma 3. Now, what next? Well, the Barracks, sure. Probably first look there. On behalf of the Shazen Kai, I thank you for your support. The basic foundations for our barracks are already in place and construction is progressing well. The day it is completed cannot come soon enough. Moto is in charge. He's most likely standing outside trying to look stern. Would you be so good as to see if he needs any assistance? <coughs> Greetings, you're Desiree, correct? Because Akira has told me all about you. The two of us are childhood friends, and she keeps me informed of the activities of the Shazenkai. I'm Mauto, head of the Enclave Guard. As you can see, we are in the midst of constructing our new base of operations. It will be used primarily as a place to train when we are not on duty. Our patrols help to ensure that no roaming beasts make their way inside. We also inspect various areas of the Enclave, identifying places where accidents might occur. Although, with all the building work, practically everywhere contains a hazard of some sort. Mata, can I have a word with him? Very well, provided you keep it brief. We were wondering, um, when we are supposed to change shifts? I thought I made it clear, every half a bell. In that case, we have some apologizing to do. Perhaps I should revise the schedule. How do you measure half a bell anyway? <clears throat> Until recently, Hakuro and his troops patrolled the Enclave. Now we have been asked to forego that in order to deal with more urgent concerns. After all, their role is to protect the whole of Dorma, not just the Enclave. As such, we citizens must find a means to protect ourselves. That's our reason for forming the Enclave Guard. Most of our members were forced to serve the Empire during the occupation, so we were glad to finally have the opportunity to do something for Doma's sake. Being conscripted soldiers, we were given some degree of training. They would have been used as little more than cannon fodder in the event of actual combat, though. But at least they were worthy of being chosen. You see, I'm not the biggest Lupin, and I've always suffered from a weakness in the legs. Normally, being small and light makes one nimble, but not in my case. It did mean, however, that I was spared from conscription. Not that being left behind was much easier. Most of my friends were taken away, while I was powerless to help them. Part of me was glad that I could stay here, which made me realize that deep down I was not but a coward. One thing I gained, perhaps the only thing, was an unrivaled knowledge of the nooks and crannies of the Enclave. Of the scurrying around trying to avoid the Guardians met, I knew all the best hiding places. 
With the Imperials gone, I started showing these spots to the dormant soldiers on patrol, and before long they had put me in charge of the Enclave Guard. The only a group of volunteers, but it's a great honor. Now that I'm finally able to make myself useful, I want to do everything in my power to repay the trust they have shown me. And your donations will not go to waste, I promise. Construction of the Enclave Barracks is underway as a dedicated collective of citizens patrols the street. As you continue, how else will the Dormant Enclave grow and change? Let's see. I thank you for your support. I'm pleased to inform you that we make great strides in our efforts to rebuild the Enclave. Owing to your many contributions, the Enclave Barracks has seen further development. As you continue, how might the Enclave grow and evolve? And that was it for this week. Okay. Then, until next time. Alright, another week. Time to turn some stuff on. I offer my most sincere gratitude for your kind donation. I've received from Morto as to the state of the barracks. Oh, uh, did I say Morto? Morty? Uh, he would be most upset if he knew I had used that name. You see, we grew up together and Morty was my nickname for him. When we were little, he did not mind being called that, but now he tells me such a childish name ill befits a man of his standing. Anyway, there are matters more deserving of your attention. What say we go and see the Enclave Barracks? Greetings, Azui, and to you, Kozakura. I hope you like what we have done with the barracks. It has come a long way and I'm sure you will agree. Even I'm amazed we managed to ma get it finished so quickly, but with all of our patrolling and assisting people with their troubles. Your donations were so generous that we were able to afford new weapons. Thankfully, beyond seeing all the odd creature that wanders too close to the perimeter wall, we have had little cause to use them. We also have the equipment necessary to put out fires and detain criminals. Again, nothing of that nature has occurred so far, much to our relief. There's one missing cat that still eludes us, however. It's bound to show up soon. And may I say I'm amazed at the length to which you're willing to go to help the Enclave? The real reason that we came here to, however, is to deliver a message. There's a missive addressed to you, Mauti. I told you never to call me by that name. Never mind that, it's from Lord Hian himself. Uh, simply put, he wishes to give the Enclave Guard official recognition in light of your service to the Kingdom of Doma. Surely not. Is this true? Yes, it is. Lord Hian pays more attention to what goes on around here when you realize. Not content to rely on hearsay, he has shown a personal interest in the activity of the Enclave Guard, the patrols and so on. He knows full well how committed and diligent you all have been, and thought that this is no more than you deserve. We never strove to be more than a group of well-organized volunteers, so this comes as something of a surprise. Many of us have families to support and jobs to hold down, so I only ask our members to contribute what time they can spare. If we are formally in the employ of the kingdom, we could dedicate ourselves wholly to the Enclave Guard. Yes, the more I think on it, the more I realize what a privilege this truly is. Thank you, Desiree. Kozakura, it's your generosity and hard work that have made this possible. I intend to prove that your faith in us was not misplaced.
Water. Those Boduga men have infiltrated the Kienkan. Will they never learn? Apparently intruders. I want them alive and preferably unharmed. One of you stay here. I will prepare some choice words for you to deliver to those scoundrels. I, I'll gather some men and go on ahead. Once the Boduga have been trussed up and given a severe telling off, they will know better than to try any of their antics again. Would you excuse us for a few moments? I never knew he had it in him to become such a respected leader. The Enclave Barracks are exactly what this place needed, and Mortal has surpassed all expectations. Now that the important matter of protecting the citizen appears to have been addressed, I have another proposal for you. I expect you have seen the enormous Imperial structure by the docks. Although it has for the most part been demolished, the Watchtower still looms ominously over the Enclave. An unpleasant reminder of the occupation. Since the effort of the Shazen Kai has predominantly focused on establishing an acceptable standard for living for our people, cases such as this have not received much attention until now. Fortunately, we are now in a position to divert the nations to replacing the Guardian built tower with one of our own, so that we may cast a watchful eye across the Run River and the surrounding region. If you are able to continue your contributions, it would be immensely beneficial to, for the Enclave. And don't rough him up too much. Yasa needs their help in the paddy fields. Sorry about that. Did I hear you mention building a new watchtower? If you need people to man it, look no further than the Enclave Guard. Fantastic! The Enclave Barracks is complete. Now that the Enclave Barracks is complete, the Shazen Kai aims to further improve security by replacing the Imperial Watchtower with one of Dorman design. Furthermore, as a result of the Enclave's expansion, the weight of gratuities paid for donations has increased, as well as the weekly budget. The more the Enclave grows, the more it will attract the attention of criminals, invaders and the like. But fear not, we will keep the people safe. So, what now? On behalf of the Shazen Kai, I thank you for your support. We were able to cover the costs of having the old Imperial Tower completely demolished. Not only that, but the Masons and Carpenters wasted no time in starting work on the new one. If you would like to know more, I suggest speaking with Ishibushi, the foreman. He will explain how your donations are making a difference. And before this quest, there was they had a ruin here with an open door. You could look in, but not walk in, and there was nothing there, just rubble. You must be Desiree. So come to um, inspect our work, have you? Please allow me to apologize on behalf of Master Ishibushi. He does not mean to be rude. He is simply brusque by nature. In fact, I'm sure he is very pleased to see you at our construction site. You see, like everyone else in the Enclave, we too have benefited from your magnanimi magnanimity. Were it not for your donations, we would have no tools or resources which to go about our work. As such, we owe you a debt of gratitude for this opportunity to improve the lives of our fellow Domans. Is that what you me meant to say? We would have thanked you sooner had we not been so busy. Even working day and night, it took an awful long time to bring down the old tower. I will say one thing for those Guardians. They certainly know how to build. We were getting nowhere with the tools we had, so we had to import ones better suited for taking apart steel structures. 
and explosives. Lots of explosives. Now we are making swift progress on building our own tower. Isn't that right, Master? If you worked as much as you talk, you would have finished it by now. <laughs> My mother always says I should become an orator instead of a builder. Maybe you should take her advice. Anyway, let us address the matter at hand. Our plans for the tower. Yes, we still need to decide how to build the uppermost section. Seeing as your donations are funding this endeavor, perhaps we should ask you, Desiree? What do you think should be placed at the top of a tower? What this place needs is a massive statue of Lord Hian. Nah, I don't think Lord Hian would appreciate that. Why not give it a beacon and turn it into a lighthouse? Brilliant! Why didn't I think of that? Not only will it serve to guide ships traveling at night, but the increased visibility will make it easier for the guards to keep an eye on the enclave. What say you, master? Hmm. I say yes. Excellent. Now, if you will excuse us, we have work to do. Construction of a watchtower is proceeding quickly, with plans to include a beacon so it may also function as a lighthouse. And to continue to contribute to the Shazukai, the construction effort, in what other ways might the Dormant Enclave grow and change? On behalf of the Chosen Kai, I thank you for your support. I'm pleased to inform you that we have made great strides in our effort to rebuild the Enclave. And the tower is much taller now. Owing to your many contributions, the Watchtower has seen further development. As you continue to contribute, blah blah. Okay, I have 5,000 to go. Okay, and we're at the limit. Alright, another week for the Domino Enclave. Once more, your contributions are a great boon for the Enclave. Yo. Construction of a watchtower has reached its conclusion. It makes me incredibly proud to think that such an impressive structure could come as a result of our combined efforts. I believe that Ishibushi and the others should finish removing the scaffolding soon, so it would be safe to take a closer look. It's done. I think what he means to say is, due to your continued donations, the project is now complete, and we can all marvel at this fine example of modern Dormen architecture. And if you think it looks impressive from down here, you should see the view from the top. You can see the entire enclave, from the classes being held at Risayuku to the steam rising from the fresh dumplings of the 10,000 stars. I even saw all the way to the Denesma. I even saw all the way to the domain where the field hands are bringing in their first harvest. From now on, I shall enjoy observing the change of seasons from our lofty perch. The Enclave Guard are sure to be pleased with their new watchtower. I know I am. You should probably mention that we had enough materials to make a meeting hall for the builders. You will not be seeing me in there, though. 
Some of us like to concentrate on our work, but others prefer to spend hours talking about it beforehand. I hope you're not referring to me. May I remind you, negotiation is an es essential part of any successful business, and we are no exception. I did not mean this as an insult. You are a skilled architect, and you know what you are talking about. And you certainly do talk about it at great length. That is why I want you to handle the discussions with our clients from now on. You mean it? Thank you, Master. I knew I chose the right profession. Oh my. Seeing it from afar is one thing, but to see from this close is quite another. And what a way to welcome visitors. It truly is a testament to the spirit of Doma. In time, it is sure to become a symbol of the enclave itself. Such effusive praise. I'm at a loss for words. Huh, <laughs> makes a change. Anyway, I'm glad you like it, Kozakura. We still have plenty of work ahead of us, though. Is the watchtower not yet complete? You misunderstand me. I mean the next project. Another project? Your enthusiasm is most admirable. Of course, we are always happy to hear any suggestion regarding future developments. Achisuba was stopped by the Shazenkai later to present a list of the required materials. Haha! <laughs> no rest for the record, eh? I shall look forward to your visit. I dare say that whatever this project is will require donations of some description. Can we count on your support? Wonderful, although I cannot think what it might be. Hmm. The Watchtower complete. With a new Watchtower rising high above your enclave, the wheels are already in motion for the next project. Biodoma 4. I hope this evening finds you well. Ba -bum -ba -bum. No, 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 no questions. Okay, donation basket. Anything else? Your kind donations have, have helped secure materials requested by Ishibushi. Kozakura, Desiree, Achisuba requests your presence at the 10,000 stalls. Do you have time to spare? Yes, of course. the Kami. Was this all done in the short time we were away? Yes, we had to prize you away from the Shazenkai long enough for the other builders to renovate. They certainly were quickly, don't they? It truly is remarkable. What can I say? They learned from the best. Me. That's far from an empty boast, I assure you. Having received the master's tutelage, even a novice could put something like this together in no time at all. You see, now that most of the construction of new buildings has been set to, we can afford to divert our resources to improving the existing facilities. The materials we requested were mostly for carrying out repairs, but we had enough left over to spruce up the chasen Kai. It's the least we could do to repay all the good you have done. Come now. Our contributions pay in comparison to all the backbreaking labor you do on behalf of your enclave. Nonetheless, I gratefully accept your generosity. Thank you. It was our pleasure. With that taken care of, perhaps you can have a well earned rest. Does that mean that most of your tasks have been completed? For now, yes. Just a few odd jobs remaining. Then I think it's safe to say that the reconstruction of your enclave is finished. Good morning. Oh, uh, Toyaku, 
What can I do for you? I come to offer a proposal. The Enclave should have a garden. Oh, I see, but where? I have a perfect location in mind. There's a pond beyond the 10,000 stalls. The surrounding area is filled with a variety of trees and shrubs. The area shows much promise, but I will need the guiding hand of an experienced gardener, namely myself, for it to fulfill its potential. With a few carefully cultivated plants and a new pavilion, the tales of its beauty will spread throughout the land. Now I realize that, strictly speaking, a garden is far from essential for daily life, which is why I have waited for more urgent matters to be addressed before making my proposal. What say you? Will you grant me the opportunity to bring a measure of joy to the citizenry? I certainly have no objections. In fact, I think it's a wonderful idea. I shall see to securing the necessary resources. However, this may require a few more donations. Can we rely on your support, Desiree? Of course. You pay quite well for donations. Marvelous. You have my thanks.